Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from nancybadija.com and welcome to another episode of Exy Lingo. And today, um, I will be talking about what is a trademark, why you shouldn't use it, how to find if a particular logo or let's say a word is trademark and where to go find it at. So these are things that um, are important when you're listing or creating something to list on Etsy because it could get your store shut down if somebody reports you. So, or if the own company that trademarked that particular word finds your listing and then they make a complaint, um, it could also affect you in the sense of you get an infringement. So I do want to go over that because I feel like there's a lot of confusion around it. And I know that for me, when I first started Etsy, it was something new to me that I've never heard of um, or probably heard of, but really didn't understand it to to the fullest. So you know better, you do better, right? So hopefully after this video, you'll kind of start doing these steps to avoid having an infringement letter sent to your Etsy shop. And after a couple of those infringement letters, your Etsy shop could get closed down. And therefore, once you get an Etsy shop closed um, down, you would not be able to open additional stores. Um, everything gets closed down. So that's the downside of it. So you have to be very, very careful. Now, yesterday I was talking to someone. Um, I wouldn't say the name. And they were like, oh, well, everybody does it. Everybody, you know, uses the word Disney. I get it. There is a lot of people that on Etsy that sell Disney related products or they create their own little um, anything related with Disney and they use the word Disney. They're not supposed to, but there are a whole bunch of people doing that. Does it make it right? No. So don't follow what everyone else is doing. It's just better to be safe than sorry. It's better to do the things the correct way. That way you don't have to worry about getting your store shut down or anything else in the future and getting in trouble for. So you might as well start learning these things. That way you could avoid um, getting an infringement and like what we talked about, getting shut down. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you would do is that whenever you have a listing that you're creating, if you're not really sure if the keyword um, or the keywords or whatever you're listing also, it could be a, like a product, it could be like a quote from a movie or a quote from a TV show, anything that you're not 100% sure if you could use, you would go to this website and it's um, USPTO.gov. Gov, and I'll leave a link of the website below. So you go to this website and you will select trademarks. And on trademark, you will go to basic word. This is the one I use. So then you will select live that way because you don't want to look at trademarks that are dead, that did, the person didn't renew, so those don't matter. So I'm going to work on the word onesie today. That's another big one on XE. So you just type in the word onesie, you search, and it's going to come up with a list of different companies that are currently trademarked that particular keyword. So if you look at this one here, you're going to see that Wansies has been trademarked since April of 2000 and is trademarked by the company Gerber. So what does that mean? That means if you create any type of product, whether it's a onesie, whether it's a sign that says, please sign the onesie, anything that you create, one, you cannot have the word onesie in the listing description. You cannot have it in the title description. You cannot have it as a keyword. And you cannot have it in the actual print. So let's say you don't use onesie um, in the keywords or anything else, but you have it in the actual print that the person is buying. It says, please sign this onesie. Guess what? You could get hit with an infringement. So when something is trademark, you cannot use it in any, any way. So once again, you cannot use it in the title. You cannot use it in the listing description. You cannot use it as a tag or keyword. And you cannot use it in the actual product that you're selling, whether it's a print, whether it's a shirt, 
whether it's a label, whatever it is, that keyword or that word should not be nowhere. Because what happens is if Gerber or somebody that works for Gerber finds your item, whether it's on Pinterest, social media, Google, Google Shopping, um, Etsy, they will send an Etsy a complaint. They'll send like a letter of infringement saying that that word is trademark. Then Etsy sends you a notification and they'll go ahead and shut down that listing. They'll deactivate the listing and they'll give you a warning that if this happens again um, or a couple of times again, your store could be shut down. They'll give you the warning saying this is an infringement. Now, if there's some, if there's a mistake, then you could fight the infringement, obviously. So if there's some sort of mistake that somebody just reported you just to report you and it's not true, then obviously fight it back. However, if it is true, uh, then you will have to go back. I would recommend going back to all your listings and any other ones that you have with the same word, let's say onesie or any other trademarks that you know you use and you're not supposed to be using, despite if everyone else is using, go back and change them or deactivate all of them until you have the time to go individually through each one and kind of like change it up or remove the whole product if you if you cannot change the item because sometimes um you could change the keywords and you're good but sometimes it's just changing the co- the whole complete item that you're selling because that item has a particular symbol or logo or the word so this is what trademark is somebody took that word they said, hey, that's our word. We're going to trademark it so other people don't use it. And, you know, sometimes there are some that are just ridiculous, like their trademark, and it says, like, cheers. And you're like, really, I can't say the word cheers. Um, but that's the game. Uh, that's the game. So, unfortunately, there's nothing that, that we could do. All you could do is make sure that you check. You're not 100% sure. Check. If you think you're sure, still check. Because you never know. It's not worth um, doing all this work on Etsy, creating all these listings for you to wake up one morning and find out that your store got shut down. It is not worth it. So if, therefore, there are many things you could do to make money on Etsy. There are many listings and keywords that you could use besides onesies. So just make sure that you do the diligent work of finding those keywords. Um, and also trademarking any keywords that you have that maybe you came up with a cashy phrase and trademarking that that way no one uses yours as well but this is what trademark is and if you go to Etsy, you'll see there's a lot of people using the word one season they're not supposed to um as you can see there's right here there's so many people using it so eventually um two things will happen these people will get an infringement Letting them know, hey, you have used one of our keywords. I think a lot of times a lot of people get away with it because they don't do SEO the correct way. So they don't really get found in the search engine outside of Etsy. I know for me, when I first started, um, I really wasn't sure about trademark, but I already knew SEO because I've been doing digital marketing for nine years. So I was already an expert on SEO. I kind of knew, you know, I knew the in and outs of SEO. So I was getting, you know, found in the search engine. I was getting found in Bing, in Yahoo. I mean, just, you name it, I was everywhere with my listings. So when I started Etsy, um, like I talked about before, I started with the whole, I'm going to do quotes. And I would do like Taylor Swift, like shake it off. And I would do a quote about that because I saw everyone else doing it too. So I thought, oh, okay, I could do that. So I did that and I was selling a lot of a lot of stuff that was trending, you know, I was doing all the quotes of music that was trending at that current moment. So I remember that, you know, I was getting found through Google and I was getting found through Bing and Yahoo and Pinterest. And so I was all over the place. The downside of being all over the place, the good, the good thing is that you get a lot of traffic. The downside is more eyes to your listing. So what happened was because I was getting found everywhere, especially on Google, these companies were finding like companies like Taylor Swift company found one of my prints and they reported me. And that's the first time I ever got like an infringement letter. And from there, 
I had to go back and change everything. I mean, I almost had to start from scratch because my whole store, my main store, was all about songs and music and quotes and it, like sayings and, you know, it was just crazy. I had to go back and change, I mean, over 500 listings. So imagine you going from making tons of money consistently to I had to deactivate everything and start from scratch. Oh my God, it was like the worst month, but I'm glad I did it because it, it taught me what trademark was, how not to use it, and to be careful with it because it could potentially, you know, close your store. And these people, a lot of these people are not doing their SEO correctly, so they're probably not popping up on Google search. They're probably just popping up on Etsy only, and they're spending a lot of money on Etsy, so they're probably, you know, appearing on page one of Etsy and getting the sales, but don't be um, fooled by that, you know, don't be like, oh, well, everyone else is doing it, so let me do it. Do not do that. That's the biggest mistake you could do because ultimately you're risking your whole work. You're risking your shop and it's not worth it. This needs another one that a lot of people use. They're not supposed to. A lot of people feel like if they put the copyright symbol and they say, oh, I'm you know, I'm no affiliate of Disney that they could do that. No, you can't. You cannot do that unless Disney gave you permission. You're not supposed to be using it or using any of their artwork like this right here with the bun with the ears. None of that. That's all trademark. The logo's trademark, the wording Disney's trademark. They even have their own font that's trademark. So therefore you're not supposed to use any of these. So just be careful with it. If you don't know make sure you go and check out um, the website. I'm going to leave the link below on the text on the text box. Make sure you go in there and check first. I hope that this video was helpful and that you learned something new. Uh, guys, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.